Hi everyone. So today's video is about pipe sizing and especially micro bore. One question I get asked a lot is can I just tee off my micro bore pipe and add another radiator further along the circuit? Well, you can, but whether it will work or not is, is another thing. But I want to look into that and the reasons why you can't and what you can do to get round it. Also, the pipe sizing thing, uh, other people have written me and said that they seem to have a lot of 15mm pipe all around the house and hardly any 22mm. And they're sure that their pump is having to burn out quicker because of having 15mm instead of having the 22 uh, they think that it's too short a runs around the house in a 22 before it gets to 15 so let's look into that as well shall we starting off then we have this system here which a friend of mine has told me about he's got in his bungalow a lot of bungalows at this where the boiler is situated downstairs or on the wall pipes come up and go into the loft they run along the loft space and drop down to each radiator this is also common in ordinary houses by the way as well and they often drop down from the bedroom ceiling down to radiators in the lounge, kitchen, vice versa. So here's a typical system, I so say now pipes are going up into the loft, they're running down, teeing down to the rad and coming back up again. I want to get, I've only done two rads but it could be lows obviously, as many as it, 10, 11 rads, who knows. Uh, but when it gets to the end, the circuit, it usually goes into a bypass rad, I mean this one's a, a, usually something like a towel rat or something, uh, and then it goes back to the boiler. And you can add rads on that drop. But I've been asked if you could tee off of one of these and just put an extra rad in a room. And yes, you could, but you would have a little bit of a job balancing it and it may well upset the others. It would be better if you could still tee off of this pipe work, the two 22 mils in the loft and drop down. But it would probably mean altering the pipe work in the loft and bringing it back because it would maybe be in another separate part of the room somewhere else. So... If you could do that though, take the pipes off the 22mm and then drop it down to the other place in a room where you want a radiator, uh, that would definitely be fine. But teeing off of one of these down here is not advisable. It would work probably on short run, but if it was on a very, very long run, right around the, around the house, 20 or 30 foot to another place, uh, very unlikely you'd get it to work. All right, that's just a way that kind of system is, is working. But a lot of houses have got this kind of what we call a drop system. Now, my combi boiler system here consists of a one pipe system. So the pipes come out of the boiler Okay, they're in three quarter for the return there, and just behind this jar here, the jar there. Whoop, there's the flow. <laughs> so they kind of come down here and go down through the floor. Okay, and they run completely around my entire bungalow in 22 mil because I've got a one pipe system, and a 22 mil pipe is staying unreduced all the way around, just teeing off to each rad as it goes along. So there's good and bad for this type of system. It does have a long way to go and I have to wait for the end rads a little bit longer than the early ones to get hot. So you can see there where the pipe comes through into the garage under the floor from the lounge and carries on around the garage, teeing off up there to a bedroom radiator. And if I come around the other side of this beam here, you see where it tees off up to the other end of that bedroom radiator around the wall and it, back into the house. Now then, on to microbore. And here's a typical microbore system. Okay, with a boiler there, and you can see it goes up around the flow and returns. I should have bought one here to get it all in. And the flow goes in, return comes back, and you can see the flow and returns in the dotted line there. There's the returns, and there's the flows, the hard lines. Okay, now go back and back into the boiler, same upstairs, same sort of thing, flow, 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 return, and back. So we've got basically manifolds there for three radiators upstairs and three down, which is generally about enough usually for microbore systems. But what I've been asked about is, can I just 
tee off of one of these here and add another one here, another red uh, or the same upstairs and tee off of these well it's not advisable <laughs> it doesn't work very well once you tee off a microbore pipe and run another rad around from it the balancing act is quite hard to get right and can muck the whole system up it's far better no, to change the actual manifold itself so that you've got more ports so you've got two manifolds there and have spare port access so by that I mean you can get another manifold like this one which is a five port one uh, and change it onto your flow and return and you've got all these extra ports for rads and run your actual radiators right back to the manifold okay I know it's not what you'd like to hear <laughs> um, but it is the best way to do it and that way you can add your pipe but just remember that you can't run this micro bore pipe too far if you start running it over long lengths it will never return and put extreme pressure on the pump and the system to work so it's no good going way off into other rooms that are you know a long way away from these manifolds you then have to think about I know this is 22 mil pipe up to these manifolds but you'd have to think about actually undoing them and moving the manifolds along so it's more central to where your other rads are going if you've got them because if you've got a massive great long run coming off to a rad somewhere way away uh, it's going to put a lot of pressure and strain on the pump and everything else uh, to get it to work and it usually unbalances the system so it's just something to bear in mind so it's one of those things and with microbore that's the problems now the other things that can happen with these microbores I mean I've had pipe work under radiators they often go under rather than going a two pipe uh, valve like they have and I've seen hoovers have mocked and marked them and uh, put dents into the tube uh, and you realize they're there because they're under the radiator hoover's gone under and bang um, there's a dent in there so one of the rads stops heating up and you think it's blocked up uh, and it's not it's a dent now talking of blocking up the other main thing that's got to be done all the time with these radiators with a microbore system is to make sure you've got plenty of inhibitor in there uh, so that everything is running clear make sure that is checked regularly with an inhibitor tester to make sure that you've got the right and correct levels functioning in there to keep these systems clear because the main thing that goes wrong with these systems is sludge in that microbore pipe do remember it's 10 mil could be 8 mil the really thin stuff and it is efficient because it hasn't got much area to heat up from the boiler it is not a bad system really it's just it's got its limitations like everything else so that's it with microbore be careful when you're thinking about just tearing off like from here for instance or there and just run it to another room you can do it you can try it it may work but i wouldn't suggest it best thing is to change the manifold for more ports okay that's about it though for the system with microbore and I'm, i feel sorry for you already <laughs> that's about it then thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time around bye bye